Hey guys, so I'm here today with my first ever monthly favorites makeup video so I hope you enjoy and this is my first kind of video talking to you guys about makeup and fashion it's a really nice change from having to like focus my the camera on my eyes when I'm creating a makeup tutorial it's just nice to relax and just chat to you guys I hope I am in focus and that you can see my face the lighting is driving me crazy let's just make do with what we've got um, as you know I'm in uni so there's only so much that I can do here yeah I'm just talking anyways let's get started okay so before I begin um, you may notice I'm wearing a hat. This is a bowler hat and I got it in Primark, Primark, Pennies, whatever variation you call it. When I first seen the hat, I must have tried it on about 10 times with a million different poses just to see if it suited me. Because I'll be honest, I went into Pennies numerous occasions to try on the hat. And I just kept leaving the build and thinking, no, you know, I don't suit that, I'll never wear it. And it would just be one of those purchases that was just a waste of money. I went around the shop then and I looked for plated checkered top and I came across this. And it has a lovely cute little black sewn on bow, bow uh, sewn in collar. And I just think this is really cute with this hat and just finish off the look with some black leggings and if you want to dress up this outfit my favourite shoes at the moment oh if I can reach them my favourite shoes at the moment have to be my black wedged boots and um, with the lovely gold um why can't I think of what's that called a shoe belt this is the belt for my shoe. <laughs> um, they've got it's got laces and this shoe belt, and um, I got these in New Look, and aren't they absolutely gorgeous? They make little short me look really tall. I wear these pretty much every second day. <laughs> so, what do you guys think of my shoe? Okay, so I'm going to start going through my makeup before you all switch away from this video. Um, so I went into Leeds nearly two weeks ago and I just felt like going on a huge makeup shopping spree. And I came back with a number of high-end makeup products and a number of drugstore products. So let's start off with the face. So the first product that I bought was from Urban Decay and this is the Naked Skin Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup Foundation and this is the number 6.0 and this is amazing. I've been, I'm wearing it today on my face if you can tell. Um, the lighting is not great, um, but I hope you can see it's lovely, flawless finish to your face and the bottle. This is going to last me at least a couple of months. Well, it's hard. I've never actually estimated how long foundation would last me, but it's definitely going to last me quite a long time. Um, it's smooth and silky to apply and I just use a brush to apply it. I would definitely recommend this foundation if you feel like splashing the cash a bit for some foundation because this is definitely worth every penny. Now the next product for the face is this concealer by Maybelline. This is, um, I don't know if it actually has a name but it's Maybelline in shade um, number 20 sand and this is what it looks like it is just a little tube um, and if you open it a stick <laughs> and what the, what I use this for is for highlighting so I would apply this well I'm not going to do it right now because I have my makeup done but I would apply it down my nose and I would highlight underneath my brows just to add some definition. 
Um, definitely recommend this product. It can be bought in drugstores such as Superdrug and Boots. Um, yeah, definitely recommend that there. And then the other concealer that I own, um, I went into Benefit when I went in my shopping haul and I went up to the nice lady at the counter and she offered to put some products on my face, test them out. From that, I decided to treat myself to this concealer. This is the Raise Paste Concealer by Benefit and it is number one there. So I use this here concealer to brighten my face, so brighten underneath my eyes and to camouflage and to cover up any little blemishes and spots that I may have and honestly this is amazing. If you can see I've already used so much of it already um, and if I put it on my finger like it comes out super thick. I don't know if you can see that on my camera but it is just the quality is amazing. This does not come off your face when you put it on. Now we're going to move on to the lips. Today I am wearing my new lip liner um, by Bari M and this is the shade um, It says number three so I assume it's number three red <laughs> and yeah so basically line my lips and then I would fill in my lips also with this pencil and then to finish off the look, I went into um, I went into Superdrug, and to finish off the look, I added some gorgeous red lipstick by L'Oreal. Look at that color! Um, this is the collection exclusive by Blake. So I don't know if you've seen, but um, L'Oreal are doing this color rich red lipstick promotion at the moment. This, this is the colour that I love the most. This is by Blake and it's pure red and I just honestly like the colour of this. I don't know if you can see up close but the colour and the pigmentation and it just it stays on so long and then I decided to treat myself to my first ever Chanel lipstick <laughs> sorry I got a bit excited for that but can you blame me it's Chanel and what girl does not want to own a product um, from Chanel and this is the Rouge Allure 149 lipstick and what you do oops, you click this gold button like so and it pops up and then take it out and you have your lipstick and this colour Look at that colour. Oh, I'll just do a swatch on my hand. The colour is just incredible. It is this gorgeous purpley pink. Uh, I just dropped my eyeshadow palette. Yeah, so it's this gorgeous purple lipstick shade and I thought it would be perfect for autumn slash fall um, because purple lipsticks are really all in right now and I could not resist. Now to finish off the lipstick you have to have some gloss so I got this product by Beauty UK if you can see it and this is the Glacier Gloss Intense Colour and High Gloss Shine. Yeah, This is the colour number 10 Plum and have a go. Plum and have a go. Yeah, so if I put this, this is. Look at this purple. Like, look at this. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna put that on top of my Chanel lipstick swatch. And look at that gorgeous shine of the lip gloss on top of the lipstick. This lip gloss is perfect for my Chanel lipstick to give it that gorgeous, sleek, shiny finish. And then the last lip liner I bought is by Rimmel. And this is the lasting finish, A Thousand Kisses Stay On Lip Contouring Pencil. And does it have a colour? 
And the colour is Black Tulip number 63. And the reason I got this lip pencil was to match, of course, my Chanel lipstick and my Beauty UK lip gloss. Now on to nails. I'm not wearing any fake nails, I'm not wearing any nail extensions, but I got treated to this gorgeous Essie gel polish on my own short little nails um, and it just leaves them all glossy and shiny and this is supposed to stay on for three weeks so I will let you know if that happens and I also got this gorgeous plum purpley colour for autumn. I posted on my Instagram two weeks ago as soon as I bought the nail polish this matte nail paint by Bari M and it is the colour Crush number 437 and literally right I put this on my nails and I oh, I couldn't even put into words how amazing I thought it was my nails went they dried straight away and it came out in this beautiful matte nail polish finish and I just had to post it on Instagram and a number of girls told me that they went out and bought it then and they absolutely love it so I would definitely recommend this nail polish by Barry M. Then to finish off the nail polish um, I got this um, base and top coat nail polish by Beauty UK and it just leaves your nails with a lovely shine and gloss finish and it really does nourish your nails. So if you prefer a more glossy finish to your nails and the matte nail polish does not leave a gloss then you, I would recommend adding some of this gloss to your nails. So I bought a number of products for your eyes. So the pr first product that I bought was by Benefit and it came in this pack. So if you buy the Benefit Their Real Mascara then you get um, the Benefit Their Real Push Up Liner together. Yes, yeah, so it was a great deal and I couldn't resist because I have wanted the Benefit Their Real Mascara for so long and I've just had so many great reviews and it just left your lashes looking so nice and naturally long and you didn't need to wear any lashes. So today um, I'm not wearing lashes. I've applied two coats of the mascara and I feel confident and the same that I would if I was wearing lashes so I'm very very impressed with this mascara definitely my number one best ever used mascara in my whole entire lifetime so yes I love this mascara um, I then tried out the, the push up liner and this is what it looks like um, if you can see it has an, a, like a rubber end and you twist the bottom and some gel liner comes out so I'll just twist it now and I'll just draw a swatch now as you can see it comes out in a gorgeous thick defined black line and oh my this liner stays on it would stay on for a whole month if you didn't take it off that is why they gave me a sample of their their real remover and without this stuff I probably would have never got the eyeliner off so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because I, I like to have a good wing on my eyes and yes it's a straight line but I think sometimes it comes out a bit thick and I prefer some other liners to do the top line but this liner is great for on my waterline and for underneath the top lash because it's a gel for a start and it just stays on and it's just super thick and defined and you wouldn't get that with any other eyeliner pencil. Okay so the next eyeliner that I bought was in Superdrug and it is by Rimmel and it is the Glam Eyes Professional Liquid Liner in the number 
001 Black Glamour and this is what it looks like and I'm just going to swatch it on my hand for you and if you see there is what it looks like it is a gorgeous liquid thin thin liner may I add a number of people don't like this liner because of the size of the brush but honestly I love it I did my eyes today using this liner and I'm just able to get this nice thin cat eye look but yeah anyways I love this liner and I would definitely recommend it now on to my first ever nude um, eyeliner and this is also by Rimmel and what I love about this pencil and why I had to get it is because people used to always wear white on their waterline and it just didn't look natural but now you can add a nice nude to your waterline and it just look open your eyes up more make them larger and browner. today I am wearing the liner on my eyes because I'm just going for a simple uh, winged eyeliner red lipstick look today so I thought this liner would be great just to open up my eyes more number one must have product in your makeup kit to finish off the video I thought I would include some skin product a skin product and a hair product that I can't live without this month and the first product is the got to be guardian angel heat protectant spray and I've used this product for the past year I would say and it's that good I'm still using it so what I do I wash my hair and just before I blow dry and straighten my hair I place apply I actually apply quite a lot to my hair but it doesn't make your hair greasy in any way so don't be afraid to apply as much as you want and it just leaves your hair smelling fresh and it makes it just livens up your hair so yeah this product cannot live without it and lastly this product I bought last week and it is the Garnier Body Ultimate Beauty Oil Skin Perfector and what this does is illuminate, nourish and perfect your skin. It is made up of argan, macadamia, almond, rose and what you do is you just spray it onto your skin like that and you just rub it into your skin and it's gone and your skin is smelling fresh and smooth and is definitely what you need for the month of October when it is freezing outside and it, your skin is all dry you need something like this <laughs> so yeah that was my huge makeup and fashion and beauty product haul and um, I've absolutely loved filming it it is really nice to just chat to you guys about my favorite products and kind of get to know me more videos and I hope I haven't made you want to go spend all of your money and your wages but honestly if you want to go and splurge all of your money on these products I would definitely not blame you because it is worth every penny don't forget to like share subscribe and comment below I really do want to know what you guys think of the products so comment below and we'll just have a little chat about the products if you want to buy them, if you don't, I want to hear all of your comments. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at The Beauty Commandments. I will link it below. I hope you all have a great evening and I will see you all soon. Bye!